How's it going everyone? Travis Name 5 hc here. Welcome to episode number 2 of my Ultimate Team Journey. And we are in the Daily Invitation on the 7500 coin tournament. On into the second round of the tournament I believe. And we come up against a hybrid squad. Brazilian defense with uh, Lavetsi Palacio. And uh, I forget the striker. <laughs> but... He gets the goaling, goal scoring started in the 12th minute. Um, I was a bit disappointed to give away a goal that easily, especially to Lavetsi, who is that short. But there's nothing you can do except for try to move forward. And this game actually uh, timed out, froze on the screen. Um, it was very even, and we ended up to still be in the tournament, so we went in search for another game right away. A pretty much La Liga squad with Ter Stegen and goal. And this could be a bit difficult to play against as he does have two very, very good holding mids in Alexander Song and uh, Essien. But we ended up breaking him down in the 8th minute with Cesc Fabregas throwing in an awkward shot on goal. But getting the goal nonetheless going to take that all day, every day. Cesc on his weak foot and then he whips in across to Ogbana and he climbs big and gets the head on the ball and puts it into the back of the net in the 15th minute. 2-0 lead, very nice at this point. Early pressure, early goals, always nice to see. And we're doing some more work with Giovinco right here. And he gets a little bit of um, <laughs> clothesline, if I would say so myself. And Falcao is going to be the man to step up, and he goes right. I've been going right a lot, but most people tend to dive the way that, um, that his... They tend to dive the opposite of what is weak foot if you get what I'm saying if you're right footed they then tend to dive left hand left foot when they uh, pull, it, pull it across their body I don't know if you get what I'm saying you'll understand it but he hits back with Jose Calajon in the 45th minute and 3-1 I'm looking at it I have two goal lead but he hits me on the counter once again I have no idea how Ogbona gave that away but he dispatches it into the back of the net very nicely. And I was thinking I'm only a goal up. I need to hold the ball, keep possession, and try to see it out. And that's exactly what happens. Falcao's pen turns out to be the game changer and the decider, deciding factor in that game. So we move on into the Corsair Finals with the squad. Looking to try and advance into the finals towards that 7,500 coins that we are looking to get. And we come up against a League One slash... Uh, a little bit of Porto and uh, Premier League squad. He has three in forms. Uh, Debussy, I'm not quite sure who the center back is. And then he has uh, uh, some guy that got a uh, ninja kicked by Ibrahimovic. Rufier, I think. Something like that. But his informed goalkeeper pre proves to be a little bit worthless as I picked him apart and I scored it. Dispatched it pretty nicely into the back of the net. And then we ripped it, whipped in across here. And we ended up getting the own goal. So if you throw it in the mixer, you see what comes out. And sometimes you get something good, which tended to be own goal, a goal nonetheless. But he gets lucky by tackling me and then Guardado somehow finishing it. This guy made some substitutes and it turned out to work for him at this point as he did bring a goal back. But I hit him on the counter, uh, retaining the ball with the D Maria, spotting Falcao, throwing it open. And Falcao with a lovely lovely pass to Marquisio who dispatches it absolutely amazingly a nice weak foot volley from Claudio Marquisio the midfield man from Juventus the Italian beast in the midfield he has great work rate gets up and down the pitch and can throw in shots like that that's all you want from your midfielder especially in a 4-4-2 you want a midfielder that can hold the ball and pass it but also has pace and a shot just like Marquisio Sesc and Marquisio are two of uh, a really good tandem in midfield. Marquisio is, um, he works very, very hard and he gets back a lot more than I would say Fabregas does. They both have great playmaking ability and they both can, um, can score the goals that they need to score. And this turned out to be the final and this guy was very, very good. Um, Luis Muriel getting the first goal by mistake in the 75th minute, so a late, late goal. That turned out to be crucial. Well, not even that crucial, but Falcao with a lovely heel to heel click and throws in a shot in the 90th minute. As you can see, these are two very, very late goals. This guy was very good, and he, um, for some reason, with the poor chemistry that he had, deserved to be in the final. I just show that again, once again. Falcao with amazing bit of skill 
and the clinical finish that he is. So 7,500 coins for us, one more trophy in the cabinet, and we turned out to be the victors. So that's always good to see. And that's it for me, Travis95HD, and as always, I will see you next time.